my friends. Um, so I'm going to do another tutorial, but it's not really baking. It's more of a cooking one. So for Christmas, I got this wonderful air fryer. Ooh la la. And I've only so far made fries in it, and they turned out delicious. So tonight, I had no idea what I was going to make for dinner. I pulled hamburger out, but um, I didn't know what I was going to make for dinner. So I decided to look through my recipe book, and there's actually a meatloaf that you can make in the air fryer. So <laughs> we're going to give it a try and see how it goes. So what it calls for is one pound ground beef, two-thirds cup breadcrumbs. It specifies Italian, but you can probably use whatever you want. Um, a fourth a cup of ketchup, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon pepper, one tablespoon dried onion, one egg beaten, two strips thin sliced bacon, which I don't have, I don't have it pulled out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put, I have some bacon grease that I have in my fridge. So I'm going to pull that bacon grease out and put it in um, to give it that little kind of kick of bacon. And then barbecue sauce of your choice. So you have to mix, combine meatloaf ingredients in a medium mixing bowl and we're going to shape it into a six inch loaf. So I've got my um, spices and everything already in here. And then we are going to get my meat. So I'm going to weigh it out to a pound. And then we're going to mix this bad boy and I'll show you it really fast. Okay, so I've got my hamburger. It was a little bit more than a pound, but just like five ounces. So it's not a big deal for me. Um, you can measure it out to exactly a pound. I usually just throw it in and I add a little extra breadcrumbs or whatever you want to. So I just added my egg and I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to squish it all together and make meatloaf. And some of you might do it differently, but I like to get my hands dirty. Makes me feel, I don't know, it's kind of nasty but kind of fun at the same time. So when I was a kid I wanted to always be, you know, um, a surgeon. I wanted to be a surgeon. That hasn't happened. <laughs> I have not gone to school to be a surgeon, but it always kind of makes me feel like, oh, it's kind of what it would be like for, you know, guts and stuff. And that's kind of gross in a cooking video. <laughs> but, you know, it's, oh, oh well. I'm just a weird one like that. So this is almost mixed in. And then it says we're supposed to shape your meatloaf into a six inch loaf, which I'm not going to pull my measuring tape out and measure for six inch loaf. So we're just going to pat it, I guess, in a round circle somewhat like this and pretend that we know what six inches look like. So, so yeah. It's coming together. And then we are going to set it in our air fryer for 350 degrees and air fry it for 20 minutes. And then after that, we're supposed to pull it out and put our bacon strips on it and then also the barbecue sauce, which again, I don't have the bacon strips, so I will just um, spread a little bit of bacon grease on this bad boy after 20 minutes with some barbecue sauce and hopefully it'll taste just delightful. So I'm going to put this in. My hands are all yucky, so give me just a second and I will wash my hands and I'll be right back. Okay, you ready? Let's try this. So we're gonna pull out our little container here. This is the frying pan container. And we're just gonna plop this bad boy in. Just a second here. I'll try and only dirty one hand. And we'll put it back in our fryer. We're going to turn it on to 350 degrees, and we're going to cook it for 20 minutes. So I will be right back. Okay, whip, bing. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This looks fantastic. Whoa. And that's only 20 minutes. Okay, so what we're going to do, hopefully it's not like super dry. So I'll have to wait and see. So, okay, what we're going to do is I've got my bacon grease here. We're going to put it, smother it on top, and yum. I love using bacon grease in pretty much everything. So good. Smother it on top, and then we're going to take the barbecue sauce of our choice, 
and we're going to smother that on top. My daughter's getting in the drawer. Excuse me. Excuse her. Excuse you. Yeah. Okay, and I've just got, I thought honey barbecue sauce would be kind of nice to put on it. And again, it's the off-brand. That's how I roll, is off-brand. Um... It says brush with your favorite barbecue sauce. So I'm just gonna drizzle it all on there. Delicioso. Okay. Just, oh my gosh. Can't believe after 20 minutes. Hopefully it tastes delicious. Mom. All right, and then after 20 more minutes, 15 to 20 minutes, we are going to pull it back out and just make sure that it's at the right temperature and it's cooked all the way through. And then we can taste this bad boy. Okay, back in it goes. 350 degrees, 15 to 20 more minutes, and we'll be right back. Okay, it went bing again. So we're going to pull it out. Ooh, that looks so dang good it's all caramelized on top and oh my gosh okay Hi. all right let's try and see how what temperature is supposedly 160 degrees is for ground beef and i don't see why it wouldn't be 160 degrees already because that thing is hot okay it is reading 100 and 80 degrees, so we are done, done, done. Ooh, almost 190 degrees. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to serve this up and put it on a plate. My plates are not pretty. My pictures are not pretty, but you're going to see what it looks like anyways. So stay tuned. Just a second. Okay, you guys, so I have this plated. And again, I don't have very pretty plates. I don't know how to photograph food. That's not my things that I like to do. Um, but I'm going to flip my phone around and show you what it looks like. It kind of looks delicious. So here we go. And hopefully you can see. So there's my shadow in the way. But for some reason it's not letting me flip my phone around. But there's the delicious meatloaf. And there is, you know, your green beans and your side. It's noodles. Now, normally in my house, I'm all about making things from scratch because one, I'm cheap, and two, I like homemade food. But every once in a while, I like to just, you know, use box foods and stuff. So I have boxed pasta sauce or um, pasta noodles, excuse me, and then just your canned green beans and then the meatloaf. So let's try it. Ready? And I've never had meatloaf with barbecue sauce. Shoot. We'll see how it tastes. Ready? Mmm, doesn't that look so good? Mmm. Mmm. That was delicious. So good. And it's really good with the barbecue sauce on it, too. You have another bite? Mmm. Oh, Chesney. Have a bite. Mmm. Mm, mm. So good. I think next time I might put a little bit of, I don't know if any cheese would be good in it. Like, um, I'm getting in front of you guys. Um, Parmesan cheese might be really good in it. That's one great thing about recipes is you have your basic recipe and then you can just build on that and make it into a fantastic recipe. So I'll have to try this and then write some suggestions down and see if we can make a fantastic meatloaf so um if you guys have any comments or questions or want me to try something just leave a note below and i'll get to it and i'll do another video see you guys later bye bye, -bye.